Hey guys, so I got a new package for you today and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Meccano horns. Now this package is actually really really easy. So first off we're going to go ahead and import it. We're going to go to assets, import package, custom package. And here we have the horns unity package. Once you import that, it's going to be stored in your Meccano assets folder. Now we're going to go over to horns and once you're in asset Meccano asset horns, you're going to click and drag this prefab onto your avatar and it'll be located right there. Once you've installed the horns on your avatar, uh, what you're going to want to do is click on right click on the horns go to unpack prefab you're gonna see bone l and bone r expand your armature until you reach your head there we are click and drag both of those onto there once you've done that you can go ahead and delete armature that's perfectly fine and now you can position them however you please so if you want them to be a little bit lower a little bit more inward you know however you however you want to set up your horns so uh be mindful that you don't select horns to move them use the bone l and bone r as these are for the horns and uh, if you're having trouble lining these up, one of the things you can do is come over here and you'll see that there's the positions right here and X is the left and right side. So you don't want to mess with that. You just copy over the Y and Z. So if you like the position of one of the bones, just go Y and Z and there you go. Now they're properly matched. And if you want to, you could also do it the same thing with the rotation right here. Why is the orientation as up and down? So if you watch the horn right here for the right side, when I input this, it's going to face the same direction as the other horn. But then we turn around and turn it positive. And now they're perfectly mirrored. Um, Next up, we're going to go ahead and pull over some parameters. This one actually uh, comes with two different packages. So I want you to select the one that's most fitting for your avatar. So we're going to go over to VR labs, avatar 3.0 manager, and then drag on your avatar. And what I want you to do before selecting your package, go ahead and go to parameters and see how many parameters you've used. If it's a really high number, such as um, like 200 and 39 this package the advanced package will not be for you because you're going to end up having to clean up some parameters um if you have plenty of memory uh available pl uh, plenty of parameter memory available you can go ahead and select the advanced package so we're going to go ahead and go back to our layers right up here and we're going to click on fx now once you have FX open, it's going to select the controller that is set to your descriptor. And then under parameters, you're going to add animator to merge. And then we're going to select the target animator. And because this one, uh, once you click on the target and type in horns, because this avatar doesn't have the limitation on parameter memory, we're going to actually select the advanced package. Now, once you select this, there's um, a couple floats and floats take up more parameter slots than others. And even though it shows that there's only uh, seven available, once we merge onto current and go to parameters, you're going to notice it's going to be a 19. Oh, first we got to copy over our parameters. So once you click on parameters, parameters to copy horn select the package that reflects the one that you selected earlier so if you select advance click on advance and here's the additional cost of 19 if you go over to the basic it's going to contain three 
So I wanted to have that availability for individuals that, you know, their avatars are already really like bulked out on their parameters. So that way they can still enjoy the horns and they may not have the functionality that a lot of other people may get. It's still a really nice set of horns. So we went ahead and copied those over. All we need to do now is apply the sub menu. So click on your avatar, locate your avatar descriptor in the inspector window. You're going to want to scroll down until you see expressions. As you can see right here, here's the expressions menu. Click on your menu. So it locates it in the project window and click on it. Now we're going to go ahead and add the controller and we're just going to call this horn sub menu. Right after you named it, go ahead and type, uh, select the type sub menu. And then for your sub menu, you're going to want to select the one that matches up. So if you, uh, click the basic package, go ahead and select simple. If you click the advanced package, go ahead and click advanced and that's it. That's the whole installation process. So now we're going to go ahead and save. And I'm going to demonstrate the advanced package for you guys. Also, uh, one of the features that comes with the advanced package as well. So we're going to go uh, to expressions horn sub menu and toggle it on. So here's the horns right here. Uh, as you can see, by default, there is no emission to simply Go down here and select how bright the maximum brightness you wanted to go to. You can go all the way up here. Uh, that's perfectly fine. And then when you want it to be blinking or have that breathing effect, simply click blinking emission. All right. And now I'm going to show you guys the detection mode. So. I added two receivers to the horns and what those receivers do is they will detect when hands are close by. As you can see, this one's staying brighter than the other one Just to uh, make it easier to see actually tone down this brightness or not the blinking so we got one horn glowing the other one's not now as you see them passing through based on the proximity so if someone reaches up to go grab your horns they'll actually start glowing for you and there uh, the emission is considered additive so if you have your mission set kind of low, it's really difficult when they're really bright because the br default brightness will just completely take over. But as you can see there, working perfect. Now, of course, this one also comes with you control so you can match it up with your outfit. And that's it. You're ready to upload. If you guys have any questions, concerns, uh, leave a comment down below. Also, if you can guess where I got this inspiration uh, from and you guess correctly, I'll give you guys a little like. Uh, so that's it. Hope uh, you guys enjoy the new set. Uh, pretty nice horns, in my opinion. There's a lot of different variations of horns on the market right now. But personally, I like this kind of cracked look. It looks pretty sick. All right, guys. Have a good one. Later.